So glad you could join us on the Weather Network. It is Wednesday, March the 6th. I am meteorologist Chris Murphy, and we will be taking a look at our national forecast. Fort McMurray going back to March 4th, and you had quite a bit of snow. You also were part of this big blizzard that hit, uh, you know, Saskatoon and Etonia and Regina and Brandon. Over to Hagersville. Meanwhile, winter is probably the last thing on a lot of people's mind, considering how nice the weather has been in much of southern Ontario and southwestern Quebec. And how Halifax, warm enough for rain, the once impressive and mighty snowbanks. Well, there's been a lot of withdrawals from those snowbanks, courtesy of Mother Nature. So, who will be getting a deposit from or into their snowbanks? Well, we've got a couple systems. One, moving across the Dakotas. We've had some light snow showers in southern Alberta and Saskatchewan, but the heavier snow is going to be in Manitoba. Storm number two, we've had the rain showers for the east coast, but it's down here, just going to follow along like a, like a like a guiding force along that boundary that's going to bring rain, snow, freezing rain and ice to the east coast. But let's start off in Manitoba, even southeastern Saskatchewan getting some light snow, but Brandon, your snow's picking up by the lunch hour, Winnipeg through the afternoon, and just gonna pause it right around the rush hour, rush hour home. And that could be some heavy snow, and there's gonna be some heavy bursts within this widespread snow uh, field there. Uh, even Kenora could pick up 10 centimeters of snow. That all lifts its way northwards overnight tonight through tomorrow. So it's a quick moving system, but rapidly accumulating snow. Uh, about 10-ish centimeters for the city of Winnipeg. Again, bad timing through this afternoon and evening hours. Maybe a a little bit more as you get a further north of the city into the southern interlake region. Now that's storm number one. Storm number two, well we've had the rain showers in the maritimes and southern areas of Newfoundland. That dissip dissipates by later today and tonight. This is the more sinister storm. Starting off as rain showers overnight for most areas except for northern areas of New Brunswick. Edmonston, Plaster Rock, Miramichi, this will be snow. Now Fredericton, Charlottetown, Moncton, tomorrow morning rain will likely change over some of that wintry mix before ultimately changing to snow and then as you go further south in the Nova Scotia. This is heavy rain for the southern shores and that may end Friday evening or Friday night as a bit of freezing rain. Newfoundland, this is mainly snow with the exception of the Buren and southern Avalon. This could be ice pellets and freezing rain in St. John's. You are right right on the cusp and if it's all snow for you you can see upwards of 50 centimeters upwards of 50 centimeters of snow note a little bit lesser as you go further south because of that mixing with ice pelt so a lot of these numbers are including on pei in southeastern new brunswick are incumbent on how much snow versus how much ice pellets and the combination but either way it will be unpleasant and also not along along the ice pellets you've got the risk of freezing rain as well northern and eastern areas of nova scotia especially in portions of cape breton this could become very very dicey and in southern shores in Halifax, lesser snow, lesser ice, because this is primarily rain. The wind with all of this will be about 50 to 70 kilometers per hour. So not destructive, but noticeable. All right, temperatures this afternoon, so chilly in the west and still mild, although not as warm in southern Ontario and Quebec with lots of clouds. However, the cold air getting flushed out of BC and Alberta by Friday and Saturday, that trend will spread further east across the prairies, and it could be warm enough for rain Saturday in southern Ontario, but that could change to snow by Sunday, especially areas further north.